so I figured that's what was happening. But also, I wish I was joking when I say the second they told me, oh, it's the timing chain. It's going to be a $7,000 fix. No point in replacing it. Time to get a new car. They turned to me and went, so what kind of car were you thinking of getting? Like, I'm sorry. I'm still processing the fact that you just told me my car is dead. Like, gone for good. And seconds later, you want to ask me about what car I'm getting next? That makes all of this even more weird, but also no tact. The thing, too, is the day that happened. They were being so nice, so willing to work with me. So apologetic. Do you want us to tow your car somewhere? Do you need us to get you an Uber? You don't have to worry about it. But as soon as I'm like, hmm, a little suspicious. They're like, yeah, no, we're not helping you with anything. Now they're saying it's the catalytic converter because there were notes of that. Here's the thing. I took my car in to get the vents redone. Like the whole freaking thing. And at that point, they made a note of this. Chevy told me the catalytic converter is coming apart and they flat out said I wouldn't be able to drive it even a few more days. They tried to talk me into a payment plan that second and take my car back again. At the same time, they also said my brakes were failing and that they could go out completely on my way home. It wasn't safe. I should leave my car with them. They wanted to charge me about $700 per brake pad. Like, not per pair, not for the set, for each brake pad. They made it seem like I was going to die on my way home if I didn't. They also said the intake oxygen sensor and exhaust manifold were cracking and that they would completely need to reconstruct them. That was the words they used. Now, the brakes weren't giving signs of going out, so I did wait a little bit. But when I took my car into my mechanic to get the brakes redone, they were like, your brakes still have a little more life, but I mean better to get ahead of it. They said the catalytic converter looked fine, but I should start looking at getting a new car in a few years. They said I had plenty of time, and they said there wasn't anything wrong with the oxygen, exhaust, whatever it was. No cracks or anything. It was all fine. So the problem is, on paper, Chevy has that they warned me about these things. So of course, that's what they're now changing their story to. After murdering my car. And if I went along with it, they probably would have offered me a nice deal on a new car. 